Now back at it again, y'all. We're gonna continue this. Where was I? Okay, yeah. Learn more about Dr. Frank E. Strangers Strangers book Stranger at the Pentagon. I thought it was Strangers at the White House, but it's Stranger at the Pentagon and Viennesian Commander Valiant Thor at www.stranger at the Pentagon at the Pentagon dot com. Uh huh. See that? A Viennesian. Technology. Created beings use higher vibrational spiritual light technology and integrate it with tech on advanced worlds. Ready for an upgrade designed with a higher purpose, knowledge, and wisdom at the next tire of consciousness. Alright, consciousness abilities, created beings have avatar and solar consciousness and speak the light, essence, language. They have full divine power and do the work of heaven and exercise their own will and discernment and planetary disputes. When in the presence of a created being, once they look beneath your eyes into the depths of your soul, you will feel them scan your spirit history and instantly know all about you. Damn. It is then it is then you feel the love they have for you in your journey. Their bodies and aura have a most pleasing and indefinable fragrance that vibrates with peace. It sound like the ascending masters. When I read about the ascending masters, the ascending masters and the magic presence by um um Jess Willard or Godfrey Godfrey King Godfrey Ray King he talked about the same thing with these um I think I'm saying the author name right but the book is called the Magic Presence. He talked about the same thing with the ascending masters. They leave a very that aura the energy on them is. They have a very delightful fragrance. But anyway, um, their bodies and aura have a most pleasing and indefinable fragrance that vibrates with peace. You'll cry in their presence. They are inwardly that beautiful, filled with so much love and divine spirit. Created beings are able to dis disassemble and reassemble their molecular structure from place to place with a mere thought. They may also journey in Merkaba vehicles by creating a transport to travel. These damn, they are absolutely awesome. Okay. Okay, in that Merkabas, right? Short distances and entering space portals to travel to other Sectors of the universe, they are advanced telepaths and may also employ coangular wave bending. Damn. Dimensional capacity, created beings have multi-realm commandership. They can sweep an entire civilization from the ground up into a mothership in less than a second. Damn, an entire civilization. Created beings are able to interact, peer into, feel, and travel within every dimensional layer, past, present, and future. Man, and, and, and y'all think about this, right? We don't, we ain't taught none of this shit. All this intergalactic technology, molecular shifting, time bending, um... Um, matter bending, interdimensional bending, ash. We ain't taught none of this shit. We stuck on a very low level of thinking. See, we deserve to have the universal galactic information. Because we are galactic beings. We're interdimensional beings. And yet we have been robbed of our true history. Of our true knowledge that we should possess. We're taught all this low level shit. Enough to keep the system going. And enough to keep you... Um, where you were never really truly own nothing because you pay taxes on your house. You see what I'm saying? So if you miss your tax payment, your ass, you ain't got no house. You see what I'm saying? Somebody that's going to pick it up and snatch shit just like that. Been paying on it all your life and now it's gone. So you really don't own nothing. So anyway, point is, we have been robbed of our true birthright of history and knowledge. 
and all this shit they keeps hidden from us. This is why they never want to talk about extraterrestrials any goddamn way. Okay? Then when an extraterrestrial does make themselves known, the damn clone CIA, a.k.a. clones, come cover this shit up. Okay? And they lie. To keep the sheep asleep. Yeah. Now let's keep it pushing. We're going to talk about the Cyclops. We've all heard about the Cyclops as children. And we all think that most of this shit that we see. That is science fiction. is bullshit. But in reality. It's real. Okay. Okay. Universal origin. Cyclops come from planet. 555. Whatever that is. One of the number. Numbered planets. On the opposite side of the universe from Earth. Mm-hmm. Physical characteristics. Females are six foot tall and males are six feet to six five. Their elongated heads hold a larger brain that provides extra storage and heightened data processing. Their one large eye is purple, blue, green, or brown. The eye functions like a tele, what a telephoto lens to see further distances and read energy patterns and auras in it is attuned to higher psychic abilities. The eye also flows back and forth allowing for improved peripheral vision. Well, damn. Belief system. Cyclops follow the cosmic law of what? They have a saying that every star nation believes in just the individual, not the race. Now, I'm with that shit 100%. Okay? I'm with that shit. This this, this, this like the God in the Bible. He didn't judge the whole damn nation, the whole race. Because um, Adam and Eve sinned. Huh? Or because uh, Ham or somebody in the Bible was saying, not a whole damn nation cursed. You see what I'm saying? That's some bullshit. Anyway, I'm with them on that. You don't judge the whole, the whole damn race. You judge the nation. I mean, not the nation, but the individual. Sorry about that. The individual. Okay? If you want divine judgment, you judge the individual, not the whole fucking, just for one motherfucker that messed up. That's like Lil Nas X, right? He done made this old sick ass video, and people that's on the outside in other countries, they dumb, simple minded ass, they're going to look and say, damn, this is the standard of of the black race? They're going to they gonna see everybody black in that. And that the uh, uh demeanor or that way of 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 uh existence based off what the media has shown or depicted of us being in the black body. But so anybody with common fucking sense should be able to see through that illusion. But this is the point of what I'm trying to make when it comes to judge the individual, not the race. It ain't no one person that can put a stamp of approval to show and approve that their actions is in correspondence to everybody else that's of their race. Hell no. Bullshit. You got to be one simple-minded motherfucker to think so. I like the way they think. The Cyclops, that is. Now, Cosmic Agenda. As part of the Star Seed Alignment, a subdivision of the Galactrian alignment, Cyclops are here to assist us in moving our third dimensional ass into the next dimensional foes. Okay? They even know it didn't say that. It said third dimensional world, but I added mine in there. However, their work, which oversees evolved souls incarnating unto the planet, the rise, to raise its spiritual vibration has been kept secret because of their unique appearance. Some of their race has been 
stationed on Earth since the 1950s. See how much they hide shit, y'all? I can believe all this shit. Ain't nothing far-fetched to me. I have seen too much shit, and I've done some shit that you would say is a miracle. So, yeah, I can believe all this shit, because, yeah, I'm that type of guy. Okay, a technology cyclops use Galactrian motherships, starships, thought ships, thought ships. Again, thought ships, fleet ships, and scout ships. All their craft and command centers used biological supercomputers. Biological supercomputers. Let me repeat it again. Biological supercomputers. All crafts are able to travel through time-space funnels in the interspace continuum. The older masters of the civilization are able to journey in Merkaba vehicles. Let me read it again. The older masters of the civilization are able to journey in Merkaba vehicles, creating a transport around themselves to travel short distances or entering space portals to travel to other sectors of the universe. Here we have a Cyclops. Of course, you know they're going to make them white, but we're going to look back because... Shit, skin color is an illusion any fucking way, okay? Because you're not the fucking body. You're not the body. Remember that. You are not the body. This is a part of the ego. When people want to uplift their skin tone, uplift their race, it's a part of the ego. Because your ass might wind up in your next incarnation in a whole nother race, physical body. Okay? So that shows you right there that... That is the part of the ego. Anyway, y'all, let me see if I can get a better picture of it. All right, there we go. Y'all see it. He got one big ass eye. Right there with a third eye. That's why his vision superior. He using that third eye vision. Ah, consciousness abilities, Cyclops are fully conscious, sovereign, and telepathic beings. They have unique spiritual technology, a mind-body projector that extends their astral mind and body to desired locations within the astral realm. They are highly sought after for their ex expertise on the astral universe. Hmm, they are highly sought after for their expertise. On the astral universe. Cyclops are deeply structured thinkers. And are cosmic scientists. Studying this dimension. As well as others. Alright. Anyway. We gonna move on. We see they are. Far more advanced than we. That are. Stuck in this physical body. Okay. We see that they are far more advanced. All right, Cygnus, Cygnus, Alphians. Universal origin. Cygnus, Alphians are from Cygnus, a prominent constellation in the northern sky. Physical characteristics. Cygnus, Alphians are indistinguishable from, hu from Earth humans, except they are much taller. Men and women range from seven feet to nine feet. Damn. With most women being taller than a man. Ain't that some shit. Their skin colors are a floral banquet. A beautiful arrangement of God. Now what in the hell is a floral banquet? What skin color is that? I have no fucking idea. I'd have to look it up. Okay. But here we have the physical characteristics of an Cygnus Alphian female. And I be damned. He didn't finally make somebody melanated. A black person. Ain't that some shit? Probably took everything in his might. Everything he had in him to muster this shit up. But here we have a melanated sister. Cygnus Alphian female. Ain't that some shit? We should give him a round of applause. Because we know it was hard for him to do this shit. 
All right, belief system. Signius Alphians follow the cosmic law of one, as most of all of them do. Signius Alphians are they believe that unity is the embodiment of the infinite creator. There is no right and wrong, only learning. The dark and light polarities are one. Yes, that's true. And when duality, a spiritual tool, is being processed on younger worlds, it quickens the mental, physical, and spiritual equilibrium towards becoming fully conscious. Um, you can also find out more about this polarity um, concerning right and wrong is only learning. For an extension of that, you can find more out in the Kabbalion by the three initiates. But keeping it pushing. They practice a, univer a unified field of trust, truth, and unconditional love. When reaches, which reaches out to interact with every particle in the universal fabric of space and time. Damn. Galactic Agenda. A member of the Galactarian Alignment and participant in the Melchizedek Starseed Program, Sagnius Alphians are a most harmonious race and their hearts are always joyful. They are, a they are avid champions of assisting younger worlds in becoming cosmic citizens, sovereign beings of the universe, built on the foundations of free will and the right of use of action. These are the building blocks to obtain fi final ascension into paradise. When we become fully conscious, Cygnus Alphians as well as other Galactarians will become our cosmic teachers. So be prepared to see a sister teaching your racist ass if you actually make it. I wouldn't give a shit if you're Chinese, Japanese, Mexican. Caucasian, if your ass racist, then be prepared for a sister to be teaching you. But first and foremost, I don't think that you'd be able to make it unless you kill that ego of racism. So, we we ain't worried about that shit. Sisters ain't got to deal with that racism shit. Anyway, we gonna keep it pushing. Technology, Signius Alphians, use Galactarian mothership. Starships, thought ships, fleet ships, and scout ships. All that crap and command. Centers used by logical supercomputers. Just like the other ones we just read about. Okay, shit, this seemed like a thing for, for extraterrestrials. All crafts are able to travel through time, space, funnels, and the interspace continuum. Through imaging, through imag through imaging technology. They can create nothingness and physically and physicality physically materialize and dematerialize. Reverse the aging process and alter space time and reality. Man, you gotta love them. Agnius Alphians are superior healers and have created some of the most noticeable notice, notable healing tools implemented throughout. The Galactarian alignment today. Well, goddamn. They are especially proficient at enhancing the energetic properties in the aura, the astral body, and DNA. Yeah, we got to summon some of them, y'all. Hell yeah. We got to summon them and uh, get in communication with them. The geometry in water is sacred to the Signius Alphans. They Enhance their um, water with higher frequencies, which, when ingested, tunes their bodies to that elevated octave. Yeah, they most definitely got to get summoned tonight. I mean, why not try to summon? We ain't getting no help nowhere else, goddamn, if you're black. Ain't nobody else in the intergalactic confederation trying to help out. Shit. At least let's try your own race. You got the Pleiadians always looking out for Caucasians and shit. At least that's what I, I be reading. Because don't nobody else really fuck with them when you read shit but the Pleiadians. They always talk about Pleiadians, Caucasian race. They don't talk about no other people 
but the Pleiades. And I guess because the Pleiades is supposedly supposed to be white. But let's find out about this shit. Let's, fuck, let's get there. Because they could be lying about that shit. We don't know. Let's just see what, what this dude here got to say. Even though we know he didn't put some cut on the shit. But let's just see what it say. All right, here we go, y'all. Alcyon Pleiades. Universal origin. Alcyon Pleiades come from Alcyon. The brightest star in the Pleiades star cluster in the northwest of the Taurus constellation. Physical characteristics. Alcyon Pleiadians are indistinguishable from Earth humans and appear Nordic. Females are 5 foot 5 to 6 feet. Males are 5 7 to 6 2. They have an array of skin colors. Shit, that ain't what we always see. Depending on the dimension they live in, their skin colors range from white to pale blue, violet, or red. We don't see none of that other shit. We see white, though. Okay, belief system. Alcyon Pleiades believe in the cosmic law of one. They connect to others through long embraces. Pressing the heart chest to chest, allowing the feeling of unconditional love to pass from body to body. They attract positive experiences into their life because they are one. They are at one with their own soul, their culture, and their universe. All right, y'all. Cosmic Agenda, Alcy and Pleiadians visit Earth to share with selected contactees information about our planet and others in our universe. As a member of the Galactian Alignment, they are friendly scientists exploring our worlds, our world and others. They study the secular structure of all living things and have characterized close to a half million civilizations. God damn. All right, we're going to look at some more of the Pleiadians. That's, that's the Alcyon. Okay, here we have an image of an Alcyon Pleiadian female. They are very telepathic, y'all. They are sovereign beings. They can also cast their consciousness into the future to preview, to, to preview an event in their life. Ain't that some shit? They can tap right into the Akashic Records. Most do this when a baby is in the womb to see what the child's needs will be throughout it's life. That's awesome. Now let's go to the just Pleiadians. Pleiadians. Universal origin. Pleiadians have hail from the Pleiades star cluster. A.K.A. A.K.A. the Seven Sisters. Located in the Taurus constellation in Greek mythology, Zeus, Ares, and Poseidon had affairs with the seven heavenly sisters and bore children with them. Okay, physical characteristics, Pleiadians are indistinguishable from Earth humans, although they are a bit taller. They appear Nordic. In females, they appear Nordic. Okay, that's what they appear. We don't know if they Nordic or not, according to this hell fella. Okay, we can't take his word on shit, because we know he's full of shit. Okay, but let's keep pushing, because he got good information, though. We got to expand our mind, regardless. Okay? They appear Nordic. And females are 5'9 to 6'5. While males are 6'5 to 8 feet. Women are perfectly proportioned and beyond beautiful. Well, goddamn. Most men look like the gods of old. They are muscular and chiseled. But there is no pretense about their looks. They live the perfection of the soul within and without. Some higher dimensional Pleiadians have uniquely colored eyes beside the normal blue, green, and brown. Their hues and cue and their hues, meaning their skin tone, include include aqua, teal, violet, pink, yellow, orange, or a combination of some of all colors. Now, I ain't say now one of them was white. But yet, we always get up idea of a Pleiadian being white. But it's saying their hues include aqua, teal, violet, pink, yellow, orange, or a combination of some of all some 
or all colors. And I used to hear the Christians say when I was a little boy that Jesus was all colors. So I guess Jesus is a Pleiadian then, huh? Because it just said a combination of some of all colors. That what they telling me? That, that what they were telling me when I was a child? Ah, uh, Jesus all colors. He ain't no one color. But shit, the Bible say he had how lambs wood, feet of brass had, as if it had been burnt in the oven. But if what they say be the case, Jesus is Pleiadian. Okay? Belief system, they all follow the law of one. They are spiritually advanced race that use 100% of their brain capacity. Okay? They are egoless beings. I love this type of shit. Now, I can kick it with one of these Pleiadians if this be the case. They are egoless beings who have unified their heart and mind to the work as one for the betterment of all universal kind. They believe that since all intelligent life has DNA or an A code, we share a common ancestry. We are all particles of the cosmos and is an infinite smell and grand state. They practice a unified Field of trust, love, trust, truth, and unconditional love, which reaches, which reaches out to interact with every particle in the universal fabric of space and time. Pleiadians, as well as other star nations, know that the soul is a living library. What? You, well, let me read it again. They know that the soul is a living library. Hmm. We all have to do, all we have to do is pull our book from the shelf and turn the pages to find the answers that we seek. The living, by, the living library of Akasha was built by the emergency of the one. Therefore, it is structured by all. Every soul is its own recorded and stores its information in the library, a.k.a. soul. I love it. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't mind meeting one of these Pleiadians if this be the case. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pleiadians. This is the image that he has drawn up. I can rock with that. I can rock with that. Okay, anyway, let's keep it pushing. Y'all, we even got renegade Pleiadians. Renegade Pleiadians come from the Pleiadian star cluster. Renegade Pleiadians are powerful. This is their characteristics. Powerful beast. Evil titans standing 8 to 13 feet tall. They manipulated their gene pool to produce warrior like, warrior built like tanks and to alter their original hair and eye color to black or dark brown. Belief system. Renegade Pleiades believe in survival. In the, Renegade Pleiades believe in service to self. They some self centered bastards, y'all, meaning that they can't be trusted. They believe in their dark under. Undermonic laws to gain power, technology, and material wealth. They defile all that is good and righteous and mock the cosmic law of one. They sound like reptilian. They also they have no clue how to how their afterlife will be confined to the dark astral universe, imprisoned in oppressive consciousness. If they choose to correct that comment, they will re enter reincarnation cycles. Okay. Um, my phone might have died, so we might have to continue this, y'all. Those new challenging lifetime those new challenging lifetimes will be designed by their celestial centuries. Okay. Look at that. Cosmic agenda. Renegade Pleiadians are aligned with and work with alongside the Orion Empire. I said that shit. So we know they in cahoots with the with the goddamn reptilians. The greys. And all them motherfuckers. See it say down there at the bottom. See the greys are next. On their extinction agenda. Mm -hmm. See they already extinction. Cause don't nobody want to fuck with them. Even though they want to please. Their reptilian comrades. The renegade giants will someday. Try to overthrow them. And wipe out. As much of their race. As they can. She let the war begin. Their ultimate goal is to control the universe. And rule it. With an iron fist. Look at that. Angelic core psychic. De 
detectives monitor the thoughts of highly dangerous malevolent beings in the universe through cumulative monitoring known as reflect reflective gating and monitoring this monitoring is not an invasion of private thoughts it's heightened intuition so they're not violating cosmic law okay anyway y'all we're gonna continue this shit wait first let me show you a, a picture of what he draw out with the renegade pleiadians okay this is supposed to be a renegade pleiadian or some shit they look Look like what he described. Rough, tough, soldier type. Don't give a shit. They look like they got some reptilian type vest on to represent the connection with the motherfuckers. Anyway, until next time, y'all stay tuned for the next episode on these extraterrestrials that these motherfuckers been hiding from us. Until then, fuck them. Peace.